Hi guys, welcome back to Wilsey Garage. In today's video, we'll be swapping out Ben's B8 A4 grills for uh, RS4 style honeycomb grills and his fog light grills to honeycomb style as well. Oh my god, is that Roman? Alright, what's the first step? First step is to pop your hood. And then you take one, two, three, four, five T's out. Five? Six. And then there's there's more under this one. Get two, bro. What you waiting for? Yo, where's the tools? Both of y'all got toolboxes now, bro. What you mean where the tools at? My toolbox is at work. Yeah, like oh my god, Aki's tools, bro. He's finally equipped. Like I said in the last video, I gotta get tools. How many, how many videos was that? Like two videos ago? Was it? No, three. We did the this. video too. Look, brand used. Brand, brand new. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he got the he got the automatic, boy. What you know about this? <laughs> 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 it's a oil thing. <laughs> What's that piece gone? I know that's for intake. Hold on, Ben. What you doing, bro? Did it snap? Oh, okay, so you take one down and that one attached to the headlights. I was just checking, then you unclip them from here. You should do it with a screwdriver, but these are coming off easy. Ben, what are you doing, bro? I'm plugging the sensor so I don't rip it out. You gotta tell the camera that, son. Oh, I'm unplugging the sensor so I don't rip it out. Where that, though? He's just too excited to get his goals on. Right here, man. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there, man. Right there. All right, Ben, so what are you doing now? I'm taking out the last two. T's on the top, and then I gotta take out, I think, four more in the wheel well. And the ones wheel on the well, okay. yeah, there's yeah. gonna be right there, and then wow, look at down the side. Wheels. Oh, we missed oh, the I see. unboxing. I see. All right, so do we need to lift up the car? Or you think we can do it on the floor? Mm. Uh, I could just turn the wheel. All right, so next step, you get into the car, turn the wheel to whichever direction you need to get to those bolts on the side. Wait, can I put on a subframe? Well, I'm not know. gonna do that. Isn't the belly pin in the way? Oh yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, that's how I was thinking about it. All right, now we gotta chuck the wheels off, bro. What are you doing? Why? Nothing's gonna happen. You never know, bro. You never know. This though, look, 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 look. That's great. Found the jack stands. How was this kid expecting to get under this car? Huh? <laughs> You're under this already? No, he's not. I was about to say way too low. I'm good, bro. You're good? The jack stand doesn't even go under. If I die, I die. It's crazy. We do not condone the actions in this video. All right, bro, what you doing? Taking the T's off from under the car. If you want to come down here with me, right, let, the, let the people see. Oh, wow. Up close and personal, huh? How many T's are there? Uh, three. Three? All right. Well, there's three T20, right? T25. T25 Torx bits, one right there, one right there, and then one all the way over there where Ben's working. And a Phillips head on the corner. You better be showing them, bro. <laughs> right here, you gotta take that one out and then same thing on the other side. There's that camera angle. Amazing one. All right, so there's one right there. That's it. And one right there. <laughs> All right, so now you turn the car. Turn the wheel all the way to the right so you can get to these Torx bits inside. That one's already removed, nice. <laughs> Once you remove those Torx bits, you gain access behind the bumper to get to the bolts that are over here. Where are these bolts at, Ben? There's a 10 all the way in there, bro. Okay, so there's just that one? Uh, yeah, I guess it's just one. Okay, so there's that one right there. And then, according to Ben, this should come off. After I take off the other side. After he takes off the other side, bumper should come off. <laughs> okay, so he took the bumper off, kind of did a tumble while he was doing it. Now you turn the wheel all the way to the left for this side. So it's just My car. the same three Torx bits and the same 10 mil right here. The bumper should just fall right off. It shouldn't fall. Hopefully we take it down without it dropping. that sound that's the sound of cobalt tools our new sponsor to the channel 
please. All right, it's coming off. What did I say? It's gonna fall. Yeah, <laughs> back somebody else was holding it. This guy. Okay, you unplug that for the fog light, and there for the other fog light. And that's it. It's We're off. Okay, now you put your bumper onto your engine bay as a hot engine bay <laughs> as a stand. Take okay. the grill out, and then there's these six torx bits. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then be careful because these clips are very sensitive. So you gotta like sometimes they come out easy. Sometimes you gotta really try and work to try to pry them, them out. out. Yeah. Do you need this over this bumper or off this grill? Oh, uh, you're gonna have to end up Yo, prob probably probably taking this box out and then just zip tying it. What, it bro? With the factory front mount? Uh, I think I think no bumpers to move, bro. Hell no. No Where? doors was dope, no bumper. <laughs> no doors was dope. If yeah. you didn't watch that video, go back and watch it. Now that you took those six out, the grill should just pop off of these clips. The four clips I showed you previously. And then these clips on the bottom, there's five of them. You just push them back. And lift up. Yep. Okay, the grill is loose. I go pull it. Basura! Oh my chill, bro! Angel! Angel's here! Menace! Menace to society! Alright, what are you doing now? You clipping it in place? Yes, sir. Same clips as before we told you to be careful about. Okay, now that those are in, you put the six Torx bits back in for the front fog lights. What do we gotta do? We gotta do just these four clips and then they pop up. What's the Torx back on these? First clip. Yeah. Oh, that oh, guy. I have been now. What, what's up with these? Yeah, so you just push out those four clips. Chill, they got beacon, bro. It's hot on. Oh, what'd you use it for that? It's I just, just those four clips, four clips and it pops out. Oh, no way. What? They're wrong. No, they're no, not. No, they're not. <laughs> 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 I don't know what I That was just clips? Yeah, just clips yeah. into place. What? So if you ever want to steal one of these, they just clip in and out. Hey, man. I'm not paying $400 for no grill on ECS tuning. You're bugging. Yeah, now ECS tuning be, be taxing sometimes. On everything. For real. No offense, if you want to send me free stuff. Yeah, ECS right tuning, if you want to sponsor the channel, you know. We got one, two, three, four Germanskis, and we have four, one on the other side of the block. Uh, if you want to send us an exhaust for a Passat GT to make a video on it, don't, don't be shy. Don't, don't be shy, ECS tuning. Why is it not clipping him? What's stopping? Your brain. Chinese. So where's that, that sensor gonna be put, uh, put into on this girl? Nowhere. <laughs> I'm a zip tie to the basketball. Ah, uh, yo, you wanna do it? Like, oh, that's gas. Yeah, that's gas. Oh, it has oil. Make sure it has oil. Oh, okay. It's not It's not a 1996 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra. Oh, All right, then you pop out those four clips. Put in the new ones. Oh, okay, so these slide up and push in. Yeah. They don't just clip in. No. Oh my god, man. You gotta get that chrome delete ASAP. Spitting. Right? Let us know in the comments if you want a video on a chrome delete. We have two cars, we're planning on doing one, maybe three. All right, so now that we got both girls on, and the way I do it is I just try to line up like this inside crevice with the inside of the headlight. Hey. Yeah. Wow. Oh, uh, the bash yeah, I was gonna I wanted to spray it black. It. To auto zone. Oh, I think that's the that might be the flex point. We have auto zone now. Work. Thank you, sir. Where's the spring paint though? We got the spray paint on. Crazy. Gloss black, matte black. Gloss. Yo, babe, you 21 yet, bro? Can you even buy spray paint? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, belly wheels on it. That's 10-4.
We call him Kia's BMWs now? No, he's calling it M4 Kia. Oh. Uh, nice. <laughs> look from right here. Stand right. Watch out, bro. Stand no, from right here. Tell me that doesn't look like a Forte from there. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever you say, bro. Yeah. Does that look like a Forte to you guys? Kia. I don't know if you school. Huh? Next mod? Facts. You know the vibe. It's like five horsepower right there. The WRX hood scoop. Why would you want to put that on your car? Why would you want an extra aerodynamics? <laughs> I guess I would functional. Decorative antenna. All right, so for a cleaner look on this girl, we're taking off the bash bar. What is it? One, two, three, four. And then disconnect the horns. And then disconnect the horns. There's none underneath. This kid was about to not take it off. Four bolts, bro. I feel like we don't got this. That'll take two seconds to take it off. All right, man. All right, man. Scratch what I said. There's one bolt right here going all the way through the bash bar from underneath oh there's two my fault one and two going underneath and they meet up with the ones on top but the tops are just set screws right, how do you see? so it's these it's these two bolts on both sides and the bash bar comes off i will be spraying it with some protective enamel gloss black from rustoleum okay now the bash bar should just wait don't you have to disconnect this or is that no never mind i'm bugging now the bash bar is off there's one more temperature plug montego So to paint this, do it the right way. You gotta plug the holes for the horns. Preferably clean it. Preferably clean it, but got all these new tools, but no wire brush. Now that you have your grill off, might as well clean the leaves out of it. This kid has mad leaves in here. <laughs> weight reduction. Uh, weight reduction. Private paint booth. Private, 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 private paint, paint booth. booth. Private paint booth. Cut off with light coats. It's going to the ground, bro. It's not even going there. Definitely should have cleaned it. We got the Negative. horns gloss black now. Nice little addition. Someone didn't want to cover them. Don't worry about it. Last coat is on. Let that dry. It's going to go back on the car. So we did our final coats. We're ready to put it back onto the car. From our private paint booth. Back to the shop. Man. It's fine. It'll be alright. It's supposed to be tight. That's Look how much tight. better this looks than the silver. I hope it lines up. Way better than the silver. Man, since I hope it lines up, it takes it. Now nah, you're lined up, you're good. You just push it in and put the bolts in. We didn't want to wait 15 extra minutes for it to dry, but it's dry enough. It's so a little tacky, but... Damn, then I can see that. This is the part that matters. Yeah. Now we're going to put all this... Wow, look at that. Finish. Glossy. We're going to put all the sensors back, all those bolts that you've seen us take off. Basically put it all back together. You don't need to see that. you already seen everything that comes off. We'll get back to you when it's on. So we got the zip ties now. Got the long joints, man. So we only need like two. Yeah. <laughs> Tie this right here because this new girl didn't come with a mount. Can't be messing up this clean honeycomb look with a stupid box. Drill about a slight cut, bro. Damn. Will it show behind the grill? No. We'll see. All right. Now we're putting the bumper back on. That girl looks so nice. You won't even notice the zip ties. Nah, honestly, you can't even like see them on uh, camera at yeah. all. All right, now putting the bumper back on is same thing in reverse. Torx bits up here. Put that, put that shield back on. Put the Torx bits in place. These Torx bits. We're not gonna be angel status over here. Kid has an intercooler. You can't even notice. Massive intercooler. Man, Angel, your car's filthy, bro. Bro, it's these mud tires he got on here. And goes off roading in his Mustang. How do you feel about the final product? No, that looks good. I like it. Definitely way nicer than the stock garage. Black Audi logo, and that's it. Facts. It definitely, definitely needs an Audi logo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, why are you letting it go? Yeah, I didn't even see. <laughs> Bring it closer. You have the thing that punched You're missing out the best part. All right, everything is put back together. Fog light grills are on. Front grill is on. Looks pretty good. Much better than stock. All he has to do now is put an Audi logo and the front is complete. Put a lip maybe. Oh, there it is. There's stock. Simple. All right, thanks for watching. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like their content, subscribe. And if you want to tell us anything more to do on this B8 A4 or any of the other cars, let us know in the comments below.